Well, back here we are learning more tonight about a man here in the coastal band who is recovering from a bad case of Vibrio. That's the flesh eating bacteria. The 42 year old man originally from George West went through several surgeries and expressed an interest in speaking with us tonight. Our Taylor Alanis has his story along with what his doctor is saying. Taylor. Joe Chris's Bond Shoreline Hospital officials would not allow us inside to interview Adam Pettis because of safety concerns, but we were able to talk with him over the phone. He also sent us some pictures and now we want to warn you some of these images in the story are graphic. This type of infection, it could um, it either cause me to lose my leg. It's a nightmare 42 year old Adam Pettis never thought he would face just by dipping his toes in water. It would have cost my life. I would have died. It was a week that started at Cole Park and ended across the street at Christus Spawn Shoreline. Betta says after a trip to the park earlier this month, his foot began to swell. He says doctors prescribed him some antibiotics, but then a blister formed and his brother knew something was seriously wrong. You go, to the, go back to the emergency room. I was like, why? What's going on? Because that blister's getting bigger and bigger. But his brother called the ambulance to take him back to the hospital where doctors quickly figured out what was happening. This is an infection bacteria from the beach water that's getting up your flesh inside your leg. According to the CDC, vibriosis causes an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the United States every year. Medical experts say Vibrio lives in marine environments. Oyster beds, places with lots of shrimp, so essentially places like Corpus Christi and, and Port A and all that. Doctors say you have to have a cut somewhere for the bacteria to get into, and if you are in good health, clearing the infection should be easy, but it could be bad news. If you have poorly controlled diabetes, um, bad blood supply in the area, an open wound with an infection, or just a combination of these factors. This could also be the case for people with autoimmune disorders, but it says he is homeless and has a bad immune system. He believes the bacteria entered his bloodstream underneath his toenail that was already infected with fungus. Infection was so high up, it was past my kneecap to up to my thigh. Bettis says he had to undergo four surgeries and is taking three different antibiotics. Right now, he is waiting for a plastic surgeon to help fix the skin on his leg. Doctors say Vibrio is not contagious, but to avoid catching an infection, do not go into the water if you have an open wound, have an autoimmune disorder, or are in bad health. Joe.